so um, I don't use an alarm clock. Um, I'm not attached to linear time. My body pretty much wakes up on its own at 5 a.m. every day um, because I am I am pretty much multi-dimensional. As soon as I, I lay down, I don't have normal sleep patterns. I, I, I do uh, two, three-hour intervals each day, and uh, I'm interdimensional during those time periods. Um, I don't take any medications at all whatsoever no hormone replacement or anything. I, I, I take no chemical medications at all whatsoever. Um, I only eat one meal a day and um, that really is just about what my body's asking for. So I just trust my body each day to tell me what it needs. Uh, I am never sick. I mean, I can count on my hands the times that I've been sick, and literally I can remember them. That's how few I've been sick. Um, I, don't, I don't have chemicals in my environment. I don't use products with chemicals. Um, I've been, you know, organic and, uh, and, and, and most of my life because my grandmother was such, and... Uh, I haven't drank any sort of tap water since the 70s. Um, I don't eat meat uh, simply because my body could not handle processing it any longer. And then um, the psychic residue, uh, as my uh, vibratory rate increased, uh, the psychic residue uh, from the dead meat um, stayed in my body as well and was causing me trauma. So. Um, as much as I love animals, you know, I, uh, my, my physical body has required, uh, because of my blood type, has required a lot of protein. And so subsequently, even though I was raised a vegetarian, uh, in my adulthood, I came back to meat just simply because, uh, you know, I, I felt I needed it. But I really wasn't being satisfied, especially from red meat, because... My blood type is a copper-based blood type, and so iron actually uh, uh, works against me. And uh, no one tells you that stuff. So, um, yeah, I, I try to let my body. Um, I try to let my body be in its most natural state, and my immune system and everything like that. Um, because I don't want to prop it up, you know, with vitamins and all that other stuff. I did that in my 20s, but I, d I really didn't find it helpful. In fact, I got, I got toxic levels of, you know, certain things that I can never actually use again. Uh, I can't use those vitamins again. If I try to take zinc, I, 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 I literally vomit it up almost immediately because my body has had so much zinc to try to prevent colds being a singer, you know, all my life. So, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't take anything. And, uh, I honestly believe, uh, you know, other than getting the sun, you know, need the sunlight, we are, we are light beings. And so we operate on a photosynthesis, uh, template. Again, no one tells you that stuff. Um, but I, I try to stay as pure as I can to support this avatar body for as long as, you know, I'm going to be in it. And, um, I've always kind of had the mindset of, you know, what did they do before technology? You know, I mean, obviously humans did quite well. So I've not relied upon technology. Um, uh, I didn't have my wisdom teeth taken out. Um, yeah, just like a lot, you know, didn't have my tonsils taken out. A lot of the standard things that everyone's been through, you know, uh, I, I definitely have not. <laughs> um, 
in, in more ways than just <laughs> physical. So, um, you know, I, I encourage everybody to trust their, their, their own body, their instincts, their, you know, your body tells you what it needs. And, um, you know, I've learned to listen to it because it's forced me to make me, you know, it's forced me to listen to it. It's forced me into a place where, uh, you know, hello, Wendy, body to body temple to Wendy, you are going against our desires. And so we will penalize you. Boop. You know, so don't, don't do that, man. Listen to your body. It knows best. And I know, you know, the, the steps towards purification are challenging. We're so conditioned, especially as consumers, you know, but try to listen to your body, to what it's saying. And I'm not perfect. I, I still have two areas specifically that I have got to let go of. And, uh, and I'm working on it. Uh, I'm also a proponent in... Uh, in, in, in the fact that I, I actually believe we need sugar and I don't mean high fructose corn syrup and all that other processed crap but I mean raw sugar um, I believe that we you know actually benefit from it on a cellular level having to do with our light body so you know it, it, I, don't, I don't believe we're supposed to eradicate everything you know and I also believe that our physical body requires uh, uh, elements that we receive from cannabis and THC, and you know, all of those all of those aspects. I believe are are natural to our operating system. And I think the reason why they've been demonized is is you know for that exact reason to keep to keep you the quote unquote consumer you know, in ill health on all levels and needing them for something, you know, if for any other reason just to be weakened enough to be controlled by their mind control apparatus. Anyway, think for yourself, people. Be sovereign. Do no harm. But also, when others are using harm against you, there is a point in time when you must seek protection. And you have the, the divine right to protect yourself and yours. And uh, you can bounce that energy right back to those people who are sending it your way. And it's karmic justice. So, don't be a victim. And uh, don't forget we're all in this together. Seek out those from your tribe that love you unconditionally and will hold your hand through the darkness as you hold ha their hands through the darkness because we're in the moment of, of balancing the integration of polarity, light and dark, and that means we're going to go through the roller coaster ride of duality both societally as a collective and independently with respect to our own personal ancestral history and uh, those vibratory glitches that we still need to clear out of our space to be able to function at the highest level of our operating system. I don't use a blower in my yard with leaves. Um, I don't uh, use a sprinkler system. I hand water everything. Um, I recycle everything. I compost everything. Um, nothing goes to waste. The goats will eat stuff that, you know, scraps. Uh, the rest gets composted. Um... I don't uh, throw out used water into the sink. I water everything that I possibly can with used water, like a glass of water that you might, you know, leave sitting around the house and then you just toss it out. Or if you have flowers in a vase and when the flowers die, 
uh, that water in the bottom in the base, I throw that into, you know, out into the watering some something, the pomegranate tree or something. Um, every plastic bag gets recycled uh, as uh, poop bags for the animals. Um, no need to buy those things. That only increases, you know, uh, the problem. But uh, using um, even, even uh, p- paper sacks, you know, anything that can hold the poop, I just save it and um, packaging and stuff like that, and I, I, and I reuse it. Um, I haven't bought new clothes in a really long time. Um, everything gets repaired. If it's, if it's got a hole or, you know, if it can't be repaired anymore, then I take pieces and uh, make new pieces out of a couple of old pieces. And, um, you know, as consumers, we just take everything for granted and it's what's killing us. It's killing our planet. And it just takes being a little bit more thoughtful about what's going on around you and what's in your environment and, and what, what, what can be an asset for some other situation, you know, like packaging seems like it's a debit, you know, you're going to throw it away. It's useless, but there, everything can be an asset again. Um, mailing envelopes you can reuse, um, bubble wrap can be reused. I mean, there's so many things that are disposable on a day to day that actually has a repurpose value. So, um, just, you know, more food for thought. One more thing I wanted to add. Um, my home, uh, does not have a garbage disposal. Uh, I do not use a, a dishwasher or anything like that to wash my dishes. Uh, do everything by hand. Um, I have a a whole house filter on my house and that is capable of taking care of a house three times the size of my house. But the water where I am is, uh, the, the well water is, is bad. So it has to be highly filtered. Um, I uh, don't have a dryer for clothes. Uh, I just wash my clothes in the washer and I hang everything else dry. Um, I drink only alkaline water and, um, I have a bicycle that I try to ride as, as much as I can, um, within distances that I can manage myself, um, as opposed to wasting the gas or, or driving, uh, the car for meaningless short errands. Um, I have crystals and oregons all over my house to mitigate the chemtrails overhead. Uh, they do spray directly over my house and, um, those, uh, trails dissipate very, very quickly. Um, I also have lots of rosemary around my yard, um, and lots of lavender around my yard, which are natural, um, radiation, uh, protected protectants and, um, just in general, um, pesticide, natural pesticide, um, uh, inhibitors. (laughs) It's early, so I can't think of everything. I'm all the words I'm trying to say, but, um, I just wanted you guys to know these things because it's really important that we change the way we're living and functioning on a daily basis. Um, what's in our environment and how we mitigate those, um, issues. So, you know, um, think if you can, uh, of, of how in your own world you might be able to apply some of these things and, um, you know, get those watches off your arms, you know, you got a, a smartphone, they'll, they'll let you know when, you know, the time is whatever time you need it to be. But, uh, it's really imperative as a first step to start to really get, outside of the time constraints. Anyway, okay, guys, that's it for real this time. (laughs) Galactic Shaman, Wendy, signing off.